Awas, ginilah akibatnya kalau menunggangi banteng mengamuk. Eduardo Aparecido who quickly became a buck off and then a target for Nighthawk. Say what, Coop, this bull is built like an arrow, like everything wants to go to the back and Eduardo just cuts him off at the pass and uh, man, look at that little bull fire, the intensity that he has is just unbelievable. Yeah, that little bull doesn't weigh probably a thousand pounds and, and he knows how to use every pound of it. And it's, it's, uh, There used to be an old saying, this bull's got more moves than a chicken pizza. He pitched it, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at the bull right there. I feel like you channeled Justin McKee there. That was a Bob Tom, and we'll go Fair even enough. further back. All right, I good, good, all right, all right. Well, here we've got a big weekend in Tulsa. He's got big whiskey. Come on, Brady. Come on, Brady, let's go. Give it to him. Keep working. No. Oh, Brady Olsen could not hang to the eight seconds at 7.19. Oh. Uh, not going to be good for Brady Olsen. That's going to be one that he replays all night long. Back of the pack, but inside the top 35. He's not gonna get that one. God. Yeah. Gotta, watch out, Murder Hornet. That's it, that's game on. I just think not a yellow jacket. Yeah, well, yellow jacket, Murder Hornet, whatever's. Murder Hornet. Like, just way more edgy than the Bumblebee. What am I? What are you? I'm a, you're a, I'm a dung beetle. A what? Really simple game. the bull off balance and, and that made him kind of cross his feet up kind of give him an off step there. Flags? I, I'm not seeing any flags, but I agree with JW. There was definitely some contact. We'll just see what the replay official thinks of it when he gets to watch back. If it stays a buck off, the official time will be 3.52, but as the replay judge continues to take multiple looks at this, Coop, your chance to weigh in. does seem like there was notable contact. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's a re-ride right there. It obviously threw him uh, off balance. The White Horse will join Cody Teal in the re-ride list. That will give Keyshawn a chance for first to score. He'll face Caddy Jack later on. Ford McCoy and his partners. He'd become a force as he handles Diddy Wad Diddy with ease. And this is the kid that can do it. We've seen him do it before. You, you watch how he, he just gets back to that front end each jump. When he does get in the bind, oh man, he's sore or something's wrong. I hope he's not hurt. But going back to right, this kid can do it. I mean, watch this right. Watch when he's out of shape. Back to front. Right here, he's out of shape there. He's back to the front. He's so fast with his timing coop to get back to that front when he needs to, but that just to do it on a consistent basis, this kid could be a first round draft pick. He could be in a race for a world title just with, you know, just a little more consistency. Under 10 seconds. Anybody can be to the right, and 
uh, man, with a little extra time, that guy right there could be a contender himself. Last year, he won Little Rock. That was the first time in his career he was ever in the winner's circle, but he's put himself in a position again. Everything, or he can be in that 46. Riding solo is finally solo at 5.5. Through in a direction change in there, Bob Mitchell continues to be blanked in Chip Brown. And that little bull is just so smart. I mean, he starts to the left and fills Bob over there. Uh, 45 bull score, and uh, well, that's not really going to help him too much in this bull of the year race. <laughs> and you think 90% or 100% of the stock contract would love to have a bull on the trailer with a 45 bull right, score. Exactly. But when, hey, when you're fighting for a world championship, whether you're a rider or a bull, those really good out, right, J Dub? Aren't good enough. Aren't good enough, exactly. Anything with a fireball to be. That was Eduardo Aparecido, who quickly became a buck off and then a target for Nighthawk. Tell you what, Coop, this bull is built like an arrow, like he's big in the front and little in the Everything wants to go to the back. And Eduardo just cuts him off at the pass. And uh, man, look at that little bull fire. The intensity that he has is just unbelievable. Yeah, that little bull doesn't weigh probably a thousand pounds, and, and he knows how to use every pound of it. And it is, he's, uh, yeah. There used to be an old saying that bull's got more moves than a chicken fillet. Only a few hundredths of a point ahead of riding solo. Yeah, Wupaw's getting smarter with age. He scored 46. Uh, that's what you've come to expect out of Wupaw. And, uh, you know, Dalton's doing a great job of tracking him around here, but he gets a little bit too far to the inside. Wupaw fills in, goes back to the right. And I think when he got down there, it loosened his hand. We're now being told that the ride is being reviewed for time. We're also going to look into whether the X for Wupaw helps his overall season average. Here's another look, too. This is exactly what our replay judge is looking at right now. I mean, you're, you're seeing Dalton in his true form right here, kind of on the end of his arm, but that's that's normal for him. And when he drops him down to the inside like that and goes back away, uh, it just puts some pressure on that hand. And it's going to come out right now. He's going to lose some time, but as we noted earlier in the show, it doesn't matter if you lose time on the challenge, it does stay the zero. Thanks for watching.